here in this demo, we're going to charge these two spheres by induction. So the two spheres are the piece of metal. And we have them touching right now. And electrons can easily move from one to the other when they're touching. So it's essentially one piece of metal. But later when we move them, that's a way to cut them. We don't really have to cut them. We just have to separate them like that. But when they're touching, the, the conductance across that gap is pretty good. So we think of it as one piece of metal. I'm going to bring my Teflon rod, charge it with fur, bring it close, and it's going to create a separation of the two charges, or of the charge in the metal. So if I do this, here's a negative charge, I bring it right here. It's pushing negative charge over here, and it's leaving positive charge over there. Right? You didn't see anything. Well, there's nothing to see. Right? So let me charge it up again, bring it over here, and now I'm going to cut. I'm going to separate them. And now we just charge the two spheres by induction. And of course, you can't see it. I'm going to try to prove it to you with a little bit of Teflon tape. Right? So we know if we rub fur on this Teflon tape, we know it ends up negative. So if this thing ends up negative, then they should repel each other, or the tape should be repelled. And sure enough, you can see the tape is repelled. Doesn't want to touch the metal. And we should have left the other one positive. Oh, and sure enough, it's positive. It's very sticky for the tape. Okay? So we can use our Teflon rod, or our Teflon tape, to confirm it really did what it was supposed to do. Repulsion there. There's one other way we can confirm it, is when I bring them together, if you look very close, you can see a spark jump across the gap. The negative charge, the positive charge comes back together, makes a corona and an arc like we talked about before, and you can actually see the charge go back. So seeing is believing. And there it was. Okay, so charging by induction. It's also not a quantitative thing like rubbing. We aren't gonna calculate the amount of charge that we pushed around. Maybe we can do that later. But for now, it's just another way to think about how charge behaves in a material.